Where do I look? <laughs> I know. I don't know either. The camera is right there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I forgot, like I always do. I have paintings for the end of the video. Yeah! My channel Bianca Scogan Beauty. As you can see, I have a fun video today because I have my sisters here. Yay! 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 So I took a trip down to Arizona and here we are in Arizona and I have my sisters. I have my two older sisters Bridget and Gretchen and my younger sister Natalie and we are going to do a favorites video and they're going to tell you kind of about their skin care, skin and their makeup routine and tell you about some of their favorites because I thought that that would be fun and you know I only have one face and so I can only tell you about my face and my makeup and now you can hear a little bit about all of it. So we're gonna start with Gretchen because she's the oldest. Hi. Yeah. Yes, I'm old. What? No, she's not, <laughs> old. not um, old. We are missing my oldest oldest sister Emily because she's in North Dakota. Um, she is a very minimal makeup so she would be able to tell us about how to get away with the minimalist amount of makeup and how to still look beautiful because she's beautiful. All right, so Gretchen, take take it. All right, so as you can see, I'm a redhead. So I have very sensitive skin. Uh, I like to, I mean, for years, I kind of tried to go with drugstore products, but I always broke out. I have, I mean, unfortunately, our family, we have acne prone skin. I have oily and acne prone skin plus i am a redhead and so rosacea is very prevalent uh i will say my fa new favorite thing ever is the sick of hair okay dr jart so if anyone who has red skin gets rosacea has like hyperpigmentation or even like acne scars stuff that you know you have to deal with in life this is my new favorite thing ever, which I put on day and night because it's just really moisturizing and it, it, it almost feels like you're just putting like aloe vera on it, but actually it helps take out some of the redness because it has a little bit of a green tint to it. So I use, use this every day as well as my fabulous Super Goop sunscreen. Yay, cause sensitive skin. I use a mineral sunscreen because it does seem to be a little easier on my skin. Uh, it does leave more of a dewy glow, but, uh, well, you know, I live in Arizona. I'm always sweaty anyways. As a, you know, lifelong makeup lover, I have always kind of been drawn to color as well, but as I've gotten older and I realize things settle in my creases and my cracks, I, I'm going with more natural makeup and my favorite brand is Hourglass. So it's, it's vegan, it's cruelty free. I mostly get it because it is great for my sensitive skin. Um, on the daily, you know, I put uh, my mineral veil. So put this on, put this on, put this on. <laughs> face, face, face. I will show you some of my favorite hourglass products. Um, besides the mineral veil, which I guess I'm probably overdoing it on the mineral pro on the mineral veil because I have a mineral sunscreen and this has a little bit of a mineral in it as well. But uh, in Arizona, I'm a redhead. You can't have too much sunscreen mm -hmm. here. You can't. Never. I I gotta buy stock in sunscreen because mm -hmm. I would make millions really as much sunscreen as I have to wear. Uh, I do like my uh, I have my my favorite little little hourglass brush and I use my little doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, and it's just my favorite brush because it feels so nice <laughs> and yes everything ha is better when you have sound effects mm -hmm, true. just saying <laughs> we are a family of sound effects you didn't open no. it and show what that oh was. I didn't well because it's pretty much all pan oh at this point that yes awesome. this is why I love this product that's something to be proud of I right well what I have done is I bought the veil and I actually I like that I, when I open this up, I mean, I have a lot of powder in here, but I can actually put some of the powder in my little, in my little thing here, bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh. And then I swivel, 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 tap, 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 tap. And then. And is that at the end? <laughs> yes, it's kind of a, a ending thing, but it just kind of helps like blur, blur yeah. out some of the imperfections because well, acne prone skin. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, I have the, I also use the Hourglass Concealer. 
uh, is a really good one. I use the uh, Creme Venish, is it Creme Venish? I don't know. It, it works for me and it actually, if I just kind of dab it in, it, it goes. I know, that's like I will put the, yes, uh, nice everything in the, my description box, all these products. Oh, so they'll go. be in my description box. Products, go. blush, bronzer, highlight. Is that the ghost one? Uh, this one is ambient mm -hmm. lighting. Nice. Surreal light. Fantastic. I may or may not have this for a long time and I'm like, mm -hmm. It's expensive, so. Yes, I saved up a lot of money to get mm -hmm. that one. But I will say, you know, you can't, you have a favorite uh, mascara. This is my favorite mascara, Smashbox. Uh, we yeah. are blessed with some fabulous lashes in this family. So uh, I like, it's hard to find a lash, lash mascara that like, when you're like this, like a lot of times it's hot and it starts melting up here and I'm constantly smearing what, what is that called? Transfer? Transfer. I don't like transfer. I have found that this um, super, fun, super fan fanned out mascara by Smashbox uh, is very minimal, oh. even in Arizona heat. It is not waterproof, but it is great for like staying on, staying on power. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. You had a Tom Ford lipstick. You want to talk about that? Oh yeah. Okay, that's, so. That's bougie right there. For reals though. <laughs> like, <laughs> occasionally <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> occasionally I will save for something special. And it was my friend's wedding. And I, you know, she always went to Nordstrom and bought all her makeup at Nordstrom. The one time I went to buy makeup at Nordstrom, I was like, but you know what? I can afford one lipstick. Fifty dollars <laughs> later. Oh, yes. Tom Ford. Tom Ford. However, this is by far my favorite shade. It's called Pussycat. Oh, <laughs> nice. Pussycat. Awesome. <laughs> it is a great lipstick, and it's a pretty like pretty mauvey. Not really mauvey, but it's just real pretty like. And you can kind of like wear it and do, 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 do. neutral. Your lips been yeah. better. My lips, but better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And everybody's like, oh, Rock Hama, such a great shade. And I'm like, hmm, I know. Tom Ford. Tom Ford. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for scratching in. I forgot, like I always do, I have paintings for the end of the video. Yeah! So I have the paintings that I painted for Gretchen and I painted a painting for Bridget and they were graciously brought them so that I can show them to you. Um, Natalie just said, you should have told me about and I could have brought the one Bianca painted for me. Yeah, well, we forgot. So you get to see two paintings, two for one in this one. Two All for right, one. All right, here's Bridget. Where do I look? <laughs> I know, I don't know either. The camera is right there, yeah. Okay. <laughs> My name is Bridget. And I don't wear makeup too often. Um, it's mostly only when I go out because I am lazy and I work out <laughs> like five days a week. And so I don't put it on or else it just gets gross and melts off. So I am gonna show you what I do wear, although it is pretty simple. <laughs> so I am not as awesome as my other sisters and Dad. Buy fancy, no, expensive Dad. makeup, you like and these two. These two. great. This <laughs> is perfect. So mine might be like the sort of on a budget, like splurge on a few expensive fur things, mm -hmm. and then other stuff drugstores. So it's sort of a mix. Um, so I guess we'll start with foundation because that seems like the thing to do. Bianca, tell me how to say this again. Il maquillage. Il maquillage. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw this on Instagram and I was like, yes, I will have this. So, and it actually, it works really well. It really blended into my skin. Blended. Yeah. Blended. Blended. It's blendable. I feel like I'm really dull. You're you are really dull. Um, <laughs> okay, we can do that. So yes, it blends into my skin very well. Um, they had you take this little online test and uh, answer a few questions and they have like a 30 day guarantee or something like that. You can send it back if it doesn't match your skin. Um, yeah, 
So I like that. I feel like it's uh, minimal coverage. It's not super full coverage. Sheer, um, wait, light to medium coverage? Light, I would say light coverage. I mean, I you can probably build on it like you said, but like Gretchen said, um, as I get older, I notice as I wear it for hours, it's in my creases. It oh. gets super <laughs> full coverage. So I like light coverage. Um, and I also, so if I ever need a concealer, I really like um, Tarte Shape Tape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is pretty much a staple yeah. if you want a concealer. It's a good one. And they have so many different shades. What shade are you? This is light. Nice. And this Il Maquillage is woke up like this. It's <laughs> <laughs> not true. <laughs> they made me look like I did. They want you to think they do. Um, so what is probably, I've used this for decades. I this that is cool. Maybelline Full and Soft, very black. Yes, very black. Mascara. Now, I have used lots of different mascaras before, and I do like the fancier mascaras too, but this guy, OG. It, <laughs> like, I'm the type that wears mm -hmm. the mascara and sleeps in the mascara for a day or two. You should tell them about how you put on your mascara. What? what? No, I shouldn't. Oh, how it gets all over her eyelids. <laughs> all over. That's I don't a know. That's trend right now, actually. What? It is. People, that's how they're, like, saying, that's how you get as much mascara on your eyes as possible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have been made fun of for years. I always wondered how you got so much on your it's eyelids. It's a TikTok trend. Yes. I don't use an eyelash curler, and I just, like, it gets it gets all over. And all your over. eyelashes always look perfect. perfect. Thank you. Full shot. Yeah, <laughs> Full shot. So I do like other mascaras, but this one, I mean, what? Holy like, grail. Yeah. It's like seven dollars yeah, or something I like that. Back to that one. You're me uh, like I know. Back to the <laughs> and they have a waterproof kind too. So I, you know, like the fancier brands that I have, like it'll start to flake off on the second day, and this stays strong for like two or three days. Um, so if you're lazy like me, there you go. Um, and this, my sisters made fun of me because yes. they said that it looks so ghetto. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And well used. That's As you can see, um, there are certain colors that I like a lot because they are gone. Are gone. Anyway, this they is gone. CoverGirl True Naked Roses is the, um, color palette. Yeah. There are a few different um, color palettes named other things. So, yep, I have green eyes. Don't know where to look. And so I like purples, purple plum colors. They tend to bring out my green eyes. Um, I have my eyebrows microbladed, but if I ever need to fill in a little space, I like the Cabrow from Benefit. Um, I have a number three. I don't know what that means. But it's a three. Um, also, when I bought the Il Maquillage foundation, I was sold on this lovely eyeliner also. It has a really good, um, I like the tip, it's a liquid eyeliner. It is really good. I have a hard time putting on eyeliner. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Right? Me too. Right? I tried the cat eye. Yes. I have to no. pull my eyeliner. Like, this is, see, this is good. If it's a sharp, yeah. good tip, it doesn't bleed. Anyway, I really like it. So those are all the things that I have. Awesome. I think I'm good. All right. Thank you, Bridget. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay, now you tell us a little bit about yourself and your makeup. Yeah, sure. Okay. Well, I'm probably the most basic, maybe other than Emily. Okay, also yeah, she is my up. tallest I'm sister, tall, so, so we're going to <laughs> tilt it up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm probably the most basic other than Emily, but I didn't know I was supposed to bring everything. I just thought I was supposed to bring my favorite thing. But I'll talk about my Perfect. my routine that I do. Um, so let's see. Face wash, I use the Purity. Um, Philosophy, that's what it is. Yeah, oh, I think perfect. That's that. a staple. That's a I love that. Love it. I love it, love it, love it. And I use the CeraVe lotion. Um I know my mom uses it on like her whole body, but I just use it on my face and I've never broken out from it. It's very um sensitive, skin friendly, so I really like it. And I just stick with bare minerals for all my um 
primer. I use the tinted primer. I really love it, especially if I only have time to put on primer. It's at least tinted, <laughs> so I've got something on. And then, like if I'm at Lake Powell or something, and it has sunscreen. So I love the tinted primer. I use the uh, Bare Minerals, Minerals Concealer. I just recently got a foundation stick. Um, they gave me a sample at Ulta, because that's where I like to shop and get all my makeup is at Ulta. Um, it's the very, it's more convenient to find Ulta's for me than it is Sephora's. So I love Gretchen's the Sephora queen. <laughs> Always gets a Sephora. Sephora gift card for <laughs> every <laughs> everything. <laughs> Yeah, if you have a question about Sephora, ask Gretchen. Um, I like Ulta just because it's usually more convenient and now it's all about convenience for me. So I like to go to Ulta and I like, like I said, they have all the bare mineral stuff. So where was I? I did the primer and then I just recently got a foundation stick and I really like it. Normally I've just done the primer, concealer, and the foundation powder, but now I've added the um, foundation stick to it and I like it so that way I don't go through my powder so fast because before it seemed like I was going through so much powder so now I have the concealer stick and the powder and I've just recently started wearing blush normally I wore uh, just um, bronzer but I've recently started using blush and highlighter and so this is a new world for me so <laughs> you're young because I'm you're trying young. I've been watching Bianca's videos and so now I'm getting into the blush and the and the highlighters and so I'm, I haven't really maybe found my favorites yet of those because I'm just barely starting out on those but um, if I look tired it's because I had a baby five days ago and <laughs> literally five days ago literally I have a five day old little girl Kennedy and she's so sweet and uh, <laughs> but everyone asks like how do you look so like good after having just having had a baby and my secret is my fake eyelashes <laughs> <laughs> That's what I made sure I had on before I went to the hospital. Yeah. I, went, I knew I was having contractions. No, I didn't know if they were contractions or not because I thought it might be gas, but <laughs> I went to bed <laughs> wondering if it was gas or contractions. And a few hours later, I was like, okay, those are contractions, but I'd taken my eyelashes off before I went to bed. And then so I got up and put my eyelashes back on <laughs> before I went to the hospital because I wanted to still look good in those, you know, after birth pictures. So anyway, the other secret to my eyelashes is the glue that I use. I love Duo because it doesn't feel like it's ripping off my eyelashes or my eyelid when I pull off the eyelashes. So I really like this Duo. I like the clear. They have a tinted or like a black one, but I felt like that was harder to put on. So I like that one. And then I like these eyelashes. You can get them at Walmart, but at Walmart, they've recently started locking them. So you have to ask someone to come get them off, at least at our Walmart. Really annoying. So I got these at Ulta. Um, and I actually use them over a few times. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, and this is the Ardell Professional. I like the Wispies because I feel like they're not too long crazy long and i feel like i don't know i like to put them on over mascara i put mascara on and them because i feel like if i just wear wear the lashes it looks silly so i do i do regular mascara and then i do um these and then i do eyeliner to just kind of fill in the empty spots and then i feel like i always look put together if i at least have my eyelashes on so that's my favorite thing. So there you go. Thank you. I feel that's, I feel like that's such a good one because I don't ever wear eyelashes. So <laughs> it's a great one. All right. So I will have, I'm not going to go over my favorites because I, my next video is going to be my summer favorites video. So stay tuned for that. And I will now show you some paintings. Okay. So this painting I did for Bridget in 2006. It is, yep, <laughs> it's a sunset scene. Uh, Bridget really loves the beach and loves everything. As you can tell, this is her house and she has all these cute little beach decorations and she also loves pineapples. Um, I bought her these actually. Did you really? I did oh, for Christmas. Um, anyways, <laughs> so this was for her for, I think it was for Christmas and she still likes it. She, framed it so uh -huh. yeah. yay some palm trees and a beautiful sunset <laughs> I know all right. right so this one I did for Gretchen 
Gretchen! Yay! So Gretchen loves all things Scotland. And if you see, our family slips into accents every once in a while. So if you've been watching my videos, you've seen me slip into accents every once in a while. So this is the Scottish Castle. It's, is it the one from Monty Python? I believe it is. Oh my I believe it actually yeah. is. It is. But it's prettier than that. Is so, it so Gretchen gave me this it picture and I painted it. And let's see, did I sign it? I did. It, I don't 2009, know I, I think it says. But I can't tell for sure. Anyways, it's got the reflection. I, say, I gave her a, a, the picture and it was this beautiful Scottish like picture of this the lake like the the where this castle is it sits right on the lake and so i mean the lake just looked like glass so bianca really did the reflection perfectly so you could see like this is the castle these are the clouds but like on, in the picture it just was perfectly reflected on the hey. glass and so you can see the little little Lily. beads down here i think you asked me to do it more blue and i like was like nah i like nah, purple, I like purple <laughs> it was perfect Yay! <laughs> All right, come back, everyone. Oh. No. I don't want to be in the front. Okay. All right. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Yay! If you liked it, give it a thumbs give up. It a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. And make sure to have a good day and be nice to yourself. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.